Martin Mulher, O Irhir Nagalive, Kudre Siestach, and Oet Nidraharach at Paddy Yakis Joe Magnamara, Nach Revenant Hashtel. Paddy Kenny and PJ Hayes, they changed our lives. One night I was after playing with the Tulla, and they said, There's something I want to ask you. We've got a trip to America, we're going to go, and our two accordion players, they, they can't go, and we'd love if you join the band. And that was the start of all of this. <laughs> yeah. No. Well, you was playing with them before that on and off and in England. Oh, yeah, well, with I did the tour yeah. of England with them too as well, yeah. That was prior to coming here, yeah. In 58, March of 58. <laughs> yeah, 58. So, and then, but we felt right at home because everywhere you meant is what county you're from, where you're Irish from. Irish people here at that time. We mixed with all Irish, yeah. you know, like in these places. Bronx was full of Irish, Queens was full of Irish. And they all scattered out and made a living here and was good. And, and uh, also, Seamus Cooley stayed behind. He went on to Chicago to his brother Joe. He didn't go back with the tell of that visit either. So we played and for St. Patrick's Day and we Carnegie played the Hall. concert in Carnegie Hall then. So. And then we went to the airport to say goodbye to them. A piece of me went with them, I tell you that. I was very, very lonely when they left. When that record came out, somebody said, you know, the record is out? And I said, no, I didn't know. I said, you got to hear this great record, the Tulla Band and all that. I remember taking the record home, and I had this turntable, and I put it on, and I went halfway to the first set of reels, and I just lost it. I, I broke down and cried. Just the Tulla sound. It tore me apart, it did. And I didn't listen to the music, or I didn't play it for the longest time. I didn't play the accordion for probably three years. Since I was crawling around the floor, that music was there. Now all of a sudden it was gone. I bought a Stratocaster a guitar and we, a bunch of us formed a band. There was an Irish scene, and then there was the dance hall scene, which was the biggest scene here. And that gave us the impetus to say, well, this is where the music is going. So I spent, I guess, 15 years working in dance halls, playing modern music, as they called it, the hits of the day. When the Cayleys got popular here again, all the show bands fell apart and, and they all went back playing traditional music. So I wound up, I started out on the accordion and I wound up finishing on the accordion as well because for Cayley dancing, you have to have an accordion in the band of all. So I did a lot of Cayley work in the finish. <laughs> <laughs> 